Hey, welcome to News You Can Use. It's your host, BG, and we are inside one of Amazon's fulfillment centers. It's the first time our cameras have gotten an inside look. But before we tell you why we're here, I need you to do the homework. That means subscribing to this channel, tapping that notification bell, and make sure to follow us across all of our social media. So let's be honest, let's address the elephant in the room. No doubt Amazon has made headlines during this pandemic. And we're gonna talk about that. But they've also made headlines because the company says they want to hire 15,000 workers across Canada by the end of the year. But the big question is, is what are those jobs? What is it like being an Amazon worker? Well, here we are at one of their fulfillment centers in the greater Toronto area, and we are going to get a tour. So let's break it down and show you how it all began. This is a massive facility. It is, it is absolutely. It's about 885,000 square feet. We're hearing Amazon is planning on hiring 15,000 Canadians that by is, the end of the year. That is absolutely correct. Uh, we are growing, we are expanding. We realize that through the pandemic times, obviously we, we, the, the requirement, the need of that online shopping, where people can shop from the comfort of their houses and stay safe has increased. Tishan, I want to address the elephant in the room. Sure. Of course, with 15,000 openings, mm -hmm. a lot of people probably want to apply. Mm -hmm. A lot of those people may have seen the headlines during the height of the pandemic, yep. specifically even around this particular location uh -huh. about safety and COVID outbreaks. Yep. Is it safe to work here? It is absolutely safe to work here. And I'm, I wouldn't be saying that if I don't believe that from the bottom of my heart. I do feel that Amazon as an organization is doing everything possible in order to make sure that an associate or an employee who walks inside the door, it's exactly the same way that they go back to their families at the end of the day. Uh, so here's E4, we screen every associate. We do what we call active screening for COVID symptoms before they enter the building. So in the various tents across the building, uh, three of them actually, we screen for those COVID questions, as well as do a temperature check to ensure that no one has any sort of fever or anything they may not have detected before they came in. And then we distribute to every associate an ASTM level three mask so that every associate coming in has the same uh, high grade medical mask for entry. And we actually post the questions in two languages here. So English and Punjabi, uh, just based on the demographics of the area, uh, we have a lot of Punjabi speaking associates. We want to make yeah. sure that they understand the questions that they're answering. Uh, and then if they do happen to screen for a positive, if it's the temperature, um, we'll take the temperature again just to make sure there wasn't an anomaly. Mm -hmm. uh, if they screen for a positive question or a positive response, yeah. uh, they go to the side, they work with HR, um, we'll send them home, ask them to go get a PCR test at a mm -hmm. local uh, facility and make sure that they are um, they're getting the help they need if they are happen to be positive uh, and that they're safe when they come back to work as well. Good morning. Good morning. Put this one in the garbage here? Yes, sir. Okay. Good morning. No. Thank you so much. Thank you. Talk to me about what you have set up here. <laughs> what is all of this? This is actually Amazon Go's goal. Yeah. And this is the fifth straight year where Amazon is creating awareness and supporting cancer research for children. Mm -hmm. So Amazon donates uh, close to $5 million every year to support the cancer research. And we want our associates to become part of this. We want to we want to tell them all about this. So how do employees get involved? How do associates get involved? The associates actually wear pajamas for two days at work. Oh, for real? Yes. <laughs> they actually come in pajamas. We were all in pajamas over here for two days. So you can just get out of bed and come to work. Yes, you just roll out in your yard, right? So as many associates wear pajamas, mm -hmm. that's the multiplied number that Amazon donates every year to cancer wow. research. This is called as gratitude tree, okay? And this is just to say, what am I thankful for? Okay, oh, wow. so associates can come up here, take a leaf, write what they're thankful for. And they put it and on there? Put it up on there. Wow. So we do a lot of DEI initiatives yeah. uh, to promote uh, 
everything that is happening around the world as well yeah. but to create an inclusive culture because yeah. we have so much of diversity on the floor yeah so we want to feel make the, each of them feel included nice. in everything that we do okay we're in we're going to do the huddle guys let's let's just give me one second to get it started so we stop in the middle and then go to the right we stop in the middle and we go to the left nice very nice guys, very nice, very nice, awesome. What do you guys think? Which one is in the right position? Third one, number three? Okay, let's see. Nice. <laughs> we just witnessed a safety huddle? Yep. What is that and how often does it take place? Uh, yep, uh, definitely. So all of our associates go through this huddle yeah. once a month. Our associates go through practical huddles and they interact with what kind of challenges they're gonna face when they are on the floor and when they're working down there. Of course, this is a massive facility. So how do you ensure <laughs> and monitor that everybody is safe? Well, we make sure we engage with each and every associate. So I make sure my team is on the floor, engaging with the associates if they need anything, if they have any safety concerns, we try to fix it right away. Mm -hmm. um, and also provide a, a solution to them to make yeah. sure they're set for success. So this is insane. So like, basically, this is like, I've never seen anything like this. Can you explain to me like yes. where we are right now? Okay, so right now we're on the AR floor, yeah. the RSA robotics floor. I like it a lot just because like the robots are there. Everything yeah. comes to you. We don't have to go there, which is a great help. The robots come. It tells you exactly what to get on the screen, where yeah. to get it. It tells you, tells you when to push your buttons, where to which tote to put it in, so yeah. nothing gets put in the wrong place. Wow. All the orders, all of that gets done. It tells you every single thing. What well, made you want to work here at Amazon? Like the pay is great. All the benefits are really great. Yeah. And then, so you guys do get like employee benefits? Yes, a lot of it actually. Like, so we get the health, the dental, yeah. the drugs, all of that, but also just like time off. So emergency days, yeah. paid time off, vacation, all that, that is also a pull. And then just the advancement of yeah. like moving up. I've been here for a year and change. Yeah. And like I said, I do basically everything. Yeah. That is unheard of in a lot of places. I mean, I'm great, so makes sense. Yeah. But <laughs> like the job stability, yeah. amazing. I right? like that. I like yeah. that. No, because in this economy, right? The pandemic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so here, the toes will all come down. The lights come up orange. It okay. tells you exactly where to go. It, the pick station is also really good because not only do you not move as much. Yeah we get training on here. So yeah, lights orange, Yeah. and it just tells you to put your tote there, and that's just what it is. So we're just waiting for the pods. So right now, the second is coming up. Okay. The pods are gonna be oh my a little bit. This is like and insane. Yeah, so all the products are there, yeah. and that's also something that you have to pay attention to. Right. So you have to just make sure you're picking it from the right place, and you're also checking the right place. So this thing here, it will basically, it shows you exactly where you're going to be taking it from. The light shines there. Oh my gosh, right yes. there. 1C1. So yes, yeah, so yeah. right here. But it also tells you right here where it's supposed to be. Right. It tells you how much you need. The picture is there as a guide to tell you what you're picking, how many you need. All of that is there. You come here and it's basically laid out for you. Wow. You grab your two, you yeah. check the barcodes, make sure they're the same scan it right the orange green light tells you exactly where it's supposed to be press your the pod goes oh my goodness yes can so, i give this a try yes okay hold Absolutely. on let me put on my gloves but, um, this is my account so make sure you're not making errors <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go let's go all right okay tell me where to go go okay, <laughs> what, am I okay. what are these things pick two items No, you already did a bad thing. <laughs> what did I do wrong? You didn't scan it. Oh, uh, shoot. <laughs> there you go, yes. No, and then you have to press it on the screen. Oh. On the, on the screen. <laughs> yes, ah, there you go. There go. <laughs> so Terry, where are we right now? Uh, right now we're in the pack singles department yeah. on the third floor of uh, our building. So talk to me about the packing area because I just tried yeah, putting yeah. some stuff in the yellow bins. Yeah. Messed yeah. it up. 
So if it were to come over to you, what would you do next? You're actually going to be packing some shipments today for customers. Yeah. Yeah, everything is automatic. Yeah. It's pretty hard for you to mess up when you're packing just because yeah. like this, it's pretty hard for you to mess up everywhere actually. It's like, <laughs> are you ready to try? I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> sure, I'll give it a try. Yeah. Am I doing this big one? Uh, that's the only one in there? Oh my oh, goodness. Let's go for it. Okay. 150, 180, oh, 160, here we go. Ah, okay, there you go. Okay. I feel like I gave you a difficult package to start off with. <laughs> I'm so sorry, whoever gets this package. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it's packed with love. Definitely not the greatest box we've ever seen. Hey, don't put it down. Don't come on. Talk to me about you know, the wages and the benefits here at Amazon. Is it enough to sustain a family? Of course, it's, it is um, enough to sustain the family. You know, I came to the country as an immigrant, okay. um, had a completely different background. Um, and, and me and my husband, we've both been working here. We are surviving on this job. And wow. um, the wages, the benefits are, um, as compared to the market, I think they're really good. You know, we get stocks and we get all the health benefits, um, which is, which is, I'm not comparable to any other company, right? Did you ever get nervous, I guess, you know, during the height of the pandemic and with everybody talking about the facility? Were you ever nervous coming into work or anything like that? To be honest, I've never felt nervous coming to the building. I think I find myself more safe here in the building as compared to a grocery store. Oh, wow. Uh, because the, the measures that we have had at the site right from when you enter the building, you know, going through the screening process, getting the face mask, and, and the way we have drove social distancing in the site and um, set up that safety culture, I think it's it's more safe than uh, outside in the community here. <laughs> Especially like right now, we're in the pandemic, we, we're on our station by ourselves. There's right. nobody coming in there with you. You're able to stay your safety. Nobody feet. to disturb your peace? Yes. Unless you're disturbing Honestly, somebody yes. else's peace. <laughs> yes, My, the person in front of me, if I'm like, so hey. <laughs> What advice do you have for people who might be looking to work for Amazon and work at one of the fulfillment centers like this one? Talk about what you want to achieve, when, especially when we have tier one associates. Uh, we have diverse population here at the site, people coming from different backgrounds. People can move into the field that they are interested in. I've seen people move to HR, to finance, um, to, to software development, you know, all those options are available. Um, you know, Amazon is growing at such a fast pace in Canada. You know, we know the pandemic has been difficult on people in so many different industries, so many different sectors. Mm -hmm. People need good jobs. Absolutely. Are these jobs that ha Amazon is hiring for, are these good jobs? These are absolutely good jobs. And the reason why I say that, right, is because Amazon wants to give back to the Canadian economy. It, it's, mm. it realizes at this time is where it is extremely crucial to do that. And the reason why these are good jobs is because you could join as an associate in the Amazon, but then grow up. Like it might just be a stepping a foot in the door for you, mm -hmm. but you can grow up. Internally, I have direct reporting teams who my operations manager who joined as an associate, became an area manager, is now an operations manager. I have had teams who have gone and diverted into finance roles, into HR roles. So for you, it might be you are maybe you are new to the country, maybe you have come out from your previous job and you're looking for something different, then Amazon is that place because internally, there is so many subsets of Amazon that you can divert to based on what your skill is. Or apart from that, if you want to learn something new, right? We have our career choice programs mm -hmm. where we empower associates to choose what they would like to learn mm -hmm. based on the, the vast era of courses that we have and then contribute back either within Amazon itself or they have an option to go outside and then go to another job and then contribute it. Hey guys, we really want to thank you for joining us on our tour of one of Amazon's fulfillment centers. 
And hey, if you're thinking about potentially applying for one of those 15,000 jobs, check out the link in the description below. In the meantime, remember this, we drop music news every Tuesday and Friday. So if there is a new story that you want us to look into, email us, news at brandingonashow.com. And don't forget to check out the latest episode of the BG Show right now. BG Squad, I will talk to you soon. See you later.